Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Skippers, the art teacher at Hutchings Elementary. I wanted to do a quick demonstration to just kind of walk you through how I set up the details of drawing my pattern sock and shoe. So I want to go ahead and get started by uh, starting with the shoe details and then we'll move on to the sock from there. So I'm going to start down here towards the bottom of my paper and I'm actually going to start with the, the very bottom of the shoe. I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the front end and the back end, but I'm going to draw that sole of the shoe by just putting my line all the way across and then I'm going to close it up so it kind of makes a long skinny oval. Okay, so I'm going to then add some curves here at the toe and the heel. My toe, typically, you know, the toe of your shoe is a little bit smaller than the curve that you would see back here on the heel. So I'm gonna put a bigger curve up here and that's gonna kind of set me up for putting a diagonal up here and getting a little bit higher as I go. So once I have my curves here, I'm gonna go ahead and close these up with some shapes. And once you kind of read through the steps on the slides here of um, how to set this up, you'll see a lot of this is just about creating shapes. So I'm going to add a diagonal line that's going to bring this up to make the shape of the tongue of my shoe. And then I'm going to come in and just sort of make another little line along here. It's almost going to be a rectangle. I'm not going to close it up quite yet, but this is where I'm going to end up putting my shoelaces. So I'm ready to start closing this up a little bit more here. I'm actually going to go ahead and add the top of my tongue there with that little bit of the piece that sticks up. And then I'm going to just put the opening here for uh, the part that goes right under the ankle. So I've got a nice little thickness there. So the rest of this you're going to fill with whatever kind of shapes and designs that you want to put on your shoe. really want to encourage you to try something that's unique and not just um, copying uh, a pair of shoes that you have. But how can you, you know, kind of come up with your own unique design for some details? And I'm just going to add some little shapes around there. For shoelaces, I'm going to just draw some of these skinny rectangles. And I'll go back and put some little circles around the bottom of them to make it look like the little rivets that, you know, the little holes uh, where the shoelaces go through. That's just kind of a fun detail. And you can always put some kind of a fun pattern even on the shoelaces or a pattern behind it if you wanted. I'm going to kind of use this empty space here to make the loops of my shoelaces there. I'm going to do double lines. Uh, to make it look like there's the thickness so it matches the shoe uh, laces that are going across there. And that will just kind of give me a little bit of detail to make it look like my shoe is tied, okay? All right, so you're going to kind of experiment with what else you want to add here in terms of details, texture, patterns, shapes. Um, I had some fun on mine making a logo. I actually did like a double circle and put my initials inside there. That way it made it a little bit more creative like it was, you know, my design and not just copying the exact designs of a pair of my own shoes. But um, I think you can have a lot of fun coming up with some fun details to put on your, your shoe. Okay, I'm ready to start drawing the details of the leg. One thing you wanna keep in mind is if you'd make this too skinny, it's not gonna look like this leg fits with the size of this shoe. So really make sure you pay attention to the thickness here and it, don't get it too skinny or too wide, either one. All right, that looks like a pretty good thickness. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start just having some fun putting different line patterns and shapes to make a kind of a crazy sock here. What you need to remember when you are trying to make patterns, it's about repetition. How can you come up with something that you repeat uh, over and over so you can actually see that there is a pattern being established? So it might be shapes, it could be uh, geometric shapes, or even a, an object that you want to put on there. If you want to even make some sort of a theme, um, you can have double lines, wavy lines, zigzag lines. There's so many possibilities of what you can come up with to make this really creative and fun. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to remember is as you are doing it, you not only wanna repeat it more than one time, but you wanna look at 
putting some of those details in the same spot as um, you are setting this up. If you've got a curve next to a straight line, are you gonna repeat that curve in the same spot? Probably, if it's an actual pattern. So have some fun experimenting with shapes, lines, patterns, just being super creative as a shoe and sock designer and see what you might come up with um, with your end result. Last thing I wanna do, um, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add a line on either side so this kinda makes my shoe look like it's resting on the ground rather than just looking like it's floating in the middle of my paper. Then I can decide how much more I wanna add. Do you wanna add more to the sock? Do you wanna add more to the shoe? Take a look at some of the examples in the slide presentation. Am I even giving you a few more ideas to consider? What's most importantly is you have fun being creative. Okay, good luck.